in this video, we're going to show you how to take raw data and turn it into an actogram, which can be analyzed and interpreted. So from this window, we can kind of spy on the current activity of this group of animals and what they've been doing for the past couple of hours. When we pull data every day, what we do is we put in a USB drive and we copy the current data over to that drive and we take it to our lab to be analyzed. So in order to make an actogram of the animal's activity, uh, first we use a program called VitalView. And we go into VitalView and what we'll do is go into data load and analysis. From there, we'll pull up a file. So we're going to load from a VitalView data file. And this is going to be the file that Deb pulled off the computer. And then I'll choose an experiment file to open. So now this is going to show me all of the channels in all of our chambers. So basically, each one of these lines is an animal. And so this is all of the experiments that are being run at this time. So from this, I'll choose the channels that I'm interested in and select them. And then I'll click OK. Now, it takes a long time to process because there's a lot of data. And data are collected at every six minutes for all of the animals in all of our experiments. Now it's showing me the individual activity for those four animals that I selected. If you look across the x-axis on each of these little graphs, those will show the multiple days. So it looks like this experiment has been running for quite some time. And you'll also notice that at the end, all of the activity is high. And that means all of these are recording well. So we don't have any issues with these animals. So in order to look at this in Clock Lab, what I'm going to have to do is make it into an AWD. So I do that by going to File, and then convert VitalView data to an AWD. It'll let me select from the animals I've already selected and click OK. And then it prompts me to save them wherever I want. And I'll usually do that in the folder for the experiment I'm running. So now I'm going to exit out of VitalView, because VitalView is the software that we use to collect the data. And I'm going to open Clock Lab, because Clock Lab is the software that we use to analyze the circadian rhythms of the animal. First, I'm going to show you what that raw file looks like. So this is the AWD file I just created. Here at the top, it has the name of the animal. And the line underneath shows the date that the data collection began. And underneath that is the time. Starting on the eighth line, you'll see in successive lines all of the data that we've collected in six-minute bins. And so this is the file that Clock Lab uses to generate the actogram. In order to open Clock Lab, I'm going to use MATLAB. And so once I open MATLAB, I'll just type in Clock Lab and hit Enter. And so this opens the Clock Lab interface. Now what I'm going to do is open that AWD file I just saved and then hit actogram. So what the actogram is doing is compiling all that data that's in six-minute bins and displaying it across hours on the x-axis and across days on the y-axis. And Clock Lab has a number of, of really useful tools. Under Measures, you can select to automatically fit the onset of the activity of the animal. And you see these red dots represent where Clock Lab, based on thresholds that you can set as the user, decides when the activity starts on each 24-hour period. Now, I should mention that when we look at circadian rhythms, we tend to plot the data over 48 hours. So each of the data points on here appears twice. So this data point here also appears here. You can also manually go through and edit the onsets. So if I decide that it looks like the animal started running out here, I can change that. Another thing that you can do besides create an actogram in Clock Lab is there are a number of tools for analyzing the average pattern of activity over 24 hours and some statistical analyses that we use to measure circadian rhythms.